Ashley, I'm coming. I got you, Ashley. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me go. I gotta save Ashley. Oh. Sorry. Welcome to Taste Level, where I rate games by how tasty they are. And by tasty, I just mean how fun they are. Today, I'm rating the remake of Resident Evil 4. I've actually never played the original, so this game has been a completely new experience for me. With that being said, how tasty is the Resident Evil 4 remake? The story is about Leon Kennedy, who is tasked to save the president's daughter Ashley from a crazy zombie insect cult. I didn't really care much about the story actually. I usually care about the story for games, but this one didn't really grab me. It had simple characters and a simple narrative, but that's fine, because for this game, the gameplay is what matters the most. This place has showers? Let me try this one. Oh, that's not water. What is that? It hurt. Oh, who are you? Ow! Hey, come try this shower. Yeah! You stink! Hey, let's shower again, you stinky boy. Ow! The combat is great. Shooting with the different guns feels good. Stabbing feels good, parrying with a knife, followed up by a mighty kick feels good. But the movement and evasion mechanics do feel a bit sluggish at times. The only way to evade is by crouching and not rolling or sidestepping like you would expect. On top of that, the running is very slow and you can't even trigger the evade while you're running. So when you're surrounded by a ton of enemies and have no good way to get out, it can get quite annoying. However, if you get good at the game, you can fight your way out of pretty much any situation. Hey, can we pause? I just need to reload my guns here. Just reloading. It's uh, completely fine. A little bit more. Uh, one more maybe. How dare you try to stop me? Don't try to stop me from reloading. Dumbass. As I mentioned before, the story is a bit bland, but the cutscenes used to tell that story are spectacular. I especially like the short action scenes in the middle of fights. So even though deflecting a chainsaw using only a knife is an unlikely feat, it is a fun addition to the fights, and it really makes you feel like you're in mortal danger. Luis has come to the rescue with dynamite. Okay, he wants me to shoot the dynamite. Just give me a second. I got it. I got it. I'm shooting it. I got. I got it. I'm gonna shoot it. There we go. Beautiful. Just as black. What some may consider just a mere side activity, I consider an integral part of the game. The merchant. Using the merchant, you can sell your shit, upgrade your stuff, and buy more things. You encounter the fella multiple times throughout the whole game, even in the most unlikely of places, the sewer. Because why not? In addition to the selling, buying and upgrading, he offers you some small side quests that you can do for extra rewards. The side quests include things like exterminating rats and destroying blue medallions that are spread across the world for some reason. Feeling the need to shoot at random blue medallions in the middle of fights is um... Ludo narrative dissonance. Look it up. But I mean, who cares when you get those extra rewards? A quest. It wants me to shoot twin graves. Is it this one? No. What about this one? No. This one? Nope. Is this one? No. Wait, this one? No. This one. Oh, no. Wait, it's these. Yes. Got them. Just uh, ignore the other graves. Sorry, dead people. 
If you're like me and just absolutely suck at aiming with a controller, this game has a nifty little solution that can make you better. The shooting range, where you shoot at cardboard pirates. By playing this random little minigame, you can win tokens for use at the GACHA machine. By spending your tokens, you get a cute little action figure that you can attach to your inventory suitcase for some added gameplay effects. I'm actually really surprised that they didn't try to monetize this GACHA mechanic with some unnecessary microtransactions, but um, on that topic... So, this game does have microtransactions. Some of them are pretty mild, like some extra costumes, a treasure map, but then you get to some exclusive weapons that make the game easier. And then the worst offender, in my opinion, upgrade tickets, which you can buy multiple of. These upgrade tickets let you upgrade your weapons to the point that they can be overpowered at the start of the game. And I was actually really tempted to buy one of these. I ended up not buying it, but it does leave a somewhat bitter taste that a full price game was able to tempt me with microtransactions. Moving on to something more pleasant, puzzles! Hey, don't boo! The puzzles in this game are pretty simple, like spinning a wheel, spinning a cube, ringing a bell, and setting a clock. They probably feel annoying and unnecessary to some players, but I like the little charm they added. It was a nice change of pace compared to the intensity of the rest of the game. Another puzzle? Need a wrench to get this open. A wrench? Oh. Alright, I need to get that wrench from you. I'm so sorry about this. I just I just need your wrench, little guy. Oh! Even this thing is Can I have it? Just your wrench. Can you please give me your wrench that's inside of you? No one has to die here. Just uh, hand over the wrench. Dude, I just need your wrench, guy. Please let me have your wrench. Are you gonna give it? Oh! Sorry I had to do this. I just needed your wrench. Here we go. That wasn't so hard. This game has a lot of traps. The most common one being the classic bear trap, which doesn't actually hurt you, but just annoys you a lot. There are even giant spiky balls, and they definitely hurt you. At some point, you start to figure out how to avoid a specific trap, but then you walk right into that same one later. Maybe you'll get distracted by avoiding one trap that you don't even notice the other one right next to it. The game might even warn you that there is a trap nearby, but then you'll ignore it and just fall right to your death. And then you start to think that maybe you deserve it. A safety notice. Uh, it's too long. I'm not gonna read that. Ooh, dynamite. I'm not gonna stand near the explosion. I'm not that dumb. Should be safe now. Oh. Even though this is a horror game, I wasn't actually that scared when playing it. This is in contrast to, for example, Resident Evil 2, where you had to constantly run and hide from the big, indestructible Mr. X. Resident Evil 4 is more of an action game, where you can very easily just kill the scary stuff that's chasing you. That being said, there were a few times where I was actually scared. Like, when I suddenly saw a funky looking fella in the dark. 
or when I got assaulted by a giant fleshy spider. Or this. This place sucks, man. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, yeah, no, I get it. I can go down. I get it. You know, there's not enough space in the staircase, so one of us has to go down. I get it. Let me pass. Uh, thank you. As I mentioned earlier, the story is about saving Ashley, but I didn't expect that the gameplay would also be about that. While you're in the middle of combat, Ashley can just randomly get picked up by some guy, and then you have to stop everything you're doing to run all the way over and save her. I'm coming for you. In addition to getting captured, Ashley can also get incapacitated if just someone nearly graces her. So you have to run over to her immediately and just make sure she feels better. But then you can't even do that because you're simultaneously being attacked by crazy weirdos. And you also need to keep in mind that friendly fire is on, so if you grace Ashley, she'll die. At some point you just want to lock her in the closet and let her stay there forever. Eventually, you feel like you've maybe gotten the hang of saving Ashley. But then, the game introduces catapults. So in addition to protecting Ashley from all these cult members, you have to start protecting her from Ashley seeking catapults. And when they don't hit Ashley, they hit you! And it goes on and on, until you're considering maybe quitting. But if you push through, at least you get to blast both the cult members and the catapults with a cannon! I wish I could blast Ashley with this cannon. <laughs> Ashley is in danger again. Need to go save her. Leon. Yes, I'm coming, Ashley. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Just stay safe. I'm coming to save you, Ashley. Oh, God. Ashley, I'm coming. I got you, Ashley. Oh. Wait, why? Oh. No, 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 no. Let me go. I gotta save Ashley. Sorry. You know, I... I was thinking... We work well together, don't we? I guess so. So yeah, Ashley is the worst part of the game. But your other companions are much better. For example, this beautiful good boy helping me fight against the big nasty man. When you reach the end of the game, you're greeted with a score for how well you did. Or how bad in my case, which encourages you to play the game again to get a better score. You also unlock the even harder difficulty, professional mode, that you can enjoy if you're a masochist. In the game there is also the mercenaries game mode, where you get to play as different characters and fight against hordes of enemies. This is a fun little game mode that made me feel very good about myself. Now that I've tasted all the most important aspects of the game, I feel confident that I can determine its taste level. Bring out the taste meter! I give the Resident Evil 4 remake the taste level of... EXQUISITE! This means that the game is exquisitely great, with only a few things that keeps it from reaching the top. You know, I rarely replay games, but with this game, I'm actually excited to play it again, and that says a lot about how fun and replayable it is. Here I am, a new game, a new suit, a new beginning... Ow! Again? <sighs> 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and maybe leave a positive comment. If you didn't enjoy it, please give it a dislike and leave a negative comment. If you want to see more videos like this, please check out my channel and maybe subscribe. If you don't want to see more, maybe you can share the video with all your friends and family to show them just how bad the video is. Anyway, 